Okay. Okay. I cannot believe this, right? I'm staying out here and I'm making this video because I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. And if I have to use something to get myself in a better place, then what can I use? You know what I'm saying? What can I use? So, this is what I want to say. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm lying, I'm lying. I'm standing up here, okay, so I've been sitting up at this hotel for two months at night. It's not a hotel, it's a casino. Two months, and I'm like, why they let me sit here? So I got a job. I did everything I'm supposed to do except get my uniform. Except get my uniform to start tomorrow night, right? To, well, tonight. No, this is the night now. It's the next day I read, okay. You won't believe what I went through yesterday, but I'll talk about that another time. Okay, so, okay, let me touch on it. Okay, I went to orientation today for the job. And we went to lunch in one of the restaurants in the casino resort. First of all, why people cooking that can't cook? So anyway, I had told them, like, okay, I'm, I'm going on a diet. Could you not put the meat on the plate? I, I was ordering red beans and rice. It comes with a pork chop, red beans and rice, and all that. So I'm like, okay, I'm on a diet. I don't want the meat. Just give me the red beans and rice and a side salad instead of the red beans and rice. You know, she don't tell me we can't do that. We can't make no substitution. So I said, well, you know, just give me the pasta alfredo without the chicken. Because it comes with chicken or shrimp. So just give me the pasta alfredo. And a side set. She said, all right. So, everybody at the table, you know, it's, it's not, I'm not the only person that's being in orientation looking at me stupid like, bitch, that bitch would have gave me that plate with no meat, like I asked them. And that's what I'm thinking. You know, so I'm trying to not look like the stooge in the group. I'm already the fat one. So, I'm trying to not look like the stooge in the group, so I ain't, I, but I ain't saying that because I'm like, I don't, I don't feel like going over this. Because you know, if you send a white woman in here with a camera, a hidden camera, and tell her to tell them she don't want that pork on that plate, guess what? She's not going to get that. They're going to give her just what she asked for, and they're going to make the substitution, just like she had. So, but I'm tired of that shit. I'm tired of having to say that shit. You know what? This world is just don't want to do what's right. So I have to just handle my business, right? So I, I ain't saying that. I was polite and everything. But what shook me out is, what's the, what, what, why this bitch ain't just do her job? So anyway, I went on and finished orientation. Got, got everything I needed, set my uniform, I got to get that today. So, the supervisor, now he been letting me stay here for two months. And he been doing his job, don't get me wrong, he, you know. But I had told him, like, look, sir, I'm finna, you know, go to truck driving school. Truck driving school I ain't even started. They had to cancel the whole program. They ain't even teaching truck driving. So, I ain't go to truck driving school. So, I went ahead and applied for the job. Got hired here. So, tonight, he, he said, you know, I'm the supervisor that's going to be over you. And I might have to fire you because you sitting here. And you ain't got nowhere to go. I'm like, I've been sitting here two months. You're going to fire me the day before I start working? I'm so mad. So I said, you know, what can I do to get some attention? And some attention is third. And I could be wrong. I could be lying. But God had told me, he said, I was asking some questions about something that's going on in Hollywood, right? And it's dirty, but I'm going to do it. And he was said, because everybody wants to say, oh, sister, you ain't this, you ain't that. And you the baddest bitch. I ain't all that. You know what I'm saying? This was rumored at one time that Angelina Jolie was the baddest bitch. Even the baddest bitch ain't all that. You know what God told me? He said, Angelina, they was wondering how her and Brad hooked up. The, you know, but what he said, he said, Jennifer was on the set. Or either Brad was, no, Brad was on the set of Mr. and Mrs. Smith with her. And Jennifer went on the set. I'm going to tell you what happened. She must have been jealous. 
of her them doing a love scene. So she went on the set. You got soup. This shit is. Check on Brad. See what's up. And and he say, the Lord told me to say Brad kissed Jennifer. And Angelina Jolie got jealous. And fuck Brad. He said like that. He said Angelina Jolie got jealous. And came on to Brad. And said Brad didn't want her. But she came on strong. So I guess he didn't want her to turn turning her down. Yeah. That's what he said. So they going to say, oh, they was together. Their marriage is going bad. He might have was going bad. Because I don't think she should have let nobody see her being insecure with that, look, that little thing that was happening. But she came on the set when he kissed her, and Luna got jealous. So what that's telling you right there? She's going to let people know she's the baddest bitch. And she, so whatever he doing to her ass, she, she deserve it. She deserve that shit. If he making that bitch spend every dime she got in the court, in the court system, she deserve it. But I had wanted to say that. Because guess what? Hopefully it gave me some attention. Because these bitches playing dirty. Here I am, been sitting here. I don't know why they been letting me sit here to laugh and stuff. That bitch in here, not a day before I start working, they want to act stupid. You know what I'm saying? And then the bitch out, bitch hard down tripping, hard down tripping, hard down tripping. Yeah, want to put me out the crap. I said, so I'm, I, not a, I got to get the uniform. The supervisor going to be coming in a few minutes, in about two hours. So he might tell him for the fire me. I don't know what's going to happen. Now the main, the head man don't get into nine. So I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm going to go ahead and leave when the bus start running in an hour. And, uh, I'm going to buy the funk ass job. And the bad part is I had two interviews, this job and another job yesterday, and the other job pays much less than this one do. So I, of course I wanted this one. I don't know the lady that give me a, uh, reschedule the interview because I didn't show up because I came here. So, I'm real frustrated right now. But but what's making me mad is how dirty the bitches is. I mean, everybody dirty. And then he told me to, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you another story of how dirty the bitches is. Because I was trying to get on my feet a lot of different ways. I'm going to tell you how dirty the bitches is. So, since you mad, you mad at the world. Everybody treat you bad. What well, they saying is because don't nobody care about you. Give a fuck if anybody care about me. Would you get the fuck out of my business? And let me deal with what I'm dealing with? No, oh, motherfucker is a trip. Motherfucker is a real trip. For real. For real. You gotta literally keep a hidden camera on you for to believe some of this shit. 